There's something about the morning, you know, uh, coffee and fresh baked bread and pastries. Just keeping it simple, keeping it slow. We don't always know what goes into the process, so we decided to step in and meet the person behind the passion. The biggest joy about coffee in particular and what Dogwood has been able to achieve is the taste of a new crop and right now we have some really beautiful Ethiopian coffee that is brewed properly in a Chemex. It's been roasted right. It's just the flavors are so sublime. There's something really, really intrinsically valuable about that. You know, we as consumers maybe can't totally put our thumb on, but when you have it and you say, wow, that is really, that's really tasty. And you don't have to pick out all the subtle notes or all that coffee geekery stuff, uh, but it's just a really satisfying thing. I really appreciate this notion that Experiencing dogwood coffee or experiencing Rustica Bakery gives you a glimpse into who I might be. Because it is, it's an indication of what we value, uh, what we think is important. And that, that observation would be made that, you know, I can not even know you, the owner, but I think I can get a sense of who you might be by what I've experienced by how you guys do things. We introduced this idea of having uh, coffee that we're not going to overcharge for, but we're going to charge what it's worth. And that just came from discovery, seeing that there is so much amazing coffee being produced by individuals and families in parts of the world where they're having to compete with a global market that doesn't really give them a seat at the table, and yet they still have these quality interventions that result in this coffee that has the most incredible flavor. And what I really love about what Dogwood stands for and what we've done is the fact that we have, we have honored and tried to be stewards of the quality of that coffee and the flavor of it and the taste and the nuance and the notes. They're typically fairly sweet. There is a sweetness to them um, that should come out when it's brewed. They also tend to be have a really pleasant body to them. So they kind of make your mouth feel good. In order to experience that, there's a lot of steps that have to happen. The first of which is you gotta find really good quality coffee and it's expensive. What role would you say creativity has in becoming successful? I think that creativity and success are two sides of the same coin. And here's why. I think that true success and, you know, in business is is the intersection of one's vocation or career or whatever it is that they're doing with who they are as a person creatively. Which is to say that whatever gifts you've been given as an individual, the realization of those gifts, the, the actual um, going out on a daily basis, exercising those gifts to me is 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 kind of the ultimate creativity you know if if things were to end tomorrow 
someone were to ask me a question, were you successful, I would say yes. Because I've, I think I've found some of my gifting and found ways to um, exercise it on a daily basis. So my definition of creativity and success, again, are kind of two sides of the same coin. It's, it, it, it's really sort of the realization of, 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 of who you are as a person.